Hello guys, how are you doing? Good morning to everyone, it's me Thais, who are watching my channel dedicated to English language. This is a video from my playlist Intermediate Advanced, which means it will be entirely in English. But if you prefer, if you are a beginner, just be starting to study the language, I advise you to watch my other playlist my other playlist, which covers basic English, explained in Portuguese, all right? Well, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and <clears throat> give a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. I record videos almost on a daily basis, right? So you, you can search the videos I have already available. I have recorded and uploaded more than 300 videos, so there is so much content for you to watch, right? But even even so, I keep uh, recording videos. We are in the middle of a grammar cycle, right? We are studying grammar, and after we will see other topics such as vocabulary, phrasal verbs, idiomatic expressions, and so forth, okay? Today, we will continue studying the definite articles and examples of usage. So, let's get going. Well, uh, let's see some more examples. Last lesson, last video, we were talking about when we use definite article. When we want to refer to a, a region of a country, for example, ah, she lives in the southeast of Brazil. When you want to say, ah, to the south, to the north, right, you have north. Let's pretend this is a compass, right? North, south, uh, east, west. And then we have uh, how can I say, the derived from the combination, right? If you live in the north, to the east and to the north, you say that you live in the north, northeast, southeast, um, southwest, northwest. I'm almost too sure. Oh, sorry, Where? I misspelled here. North, west. Okay, so uh, these are um, the directions, right? When you you want to express the idea that you live in some area, some region, ah, go to the south, for example. Go to the south, you will find what you are looking for, right? So you can use such expressions, it's um, such definite article before using south. To the west, to the east, so before directions, you say the, before, right? But when you turn it into an adjective, for example, nor northern brazil this is an adjective here you don't use a definite article northern uh, i want to check just check the pronunciation of this word i'm not very familiar with this word northern 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 yeah Northern. It's it's shorter the pronunciation. Northern, right? Do you live? Uh, are you? Uh, do you live in the northern Brazil? No, you don't use the, right? I traveled to northern Brazil. Okay, so you don't use the definite article in such situations. Okay. 
when we refer to names of regions and uh, regions and countries, for example, uh, our continent, we have North America, we have Central America, and South America. Brazil is in South America, right? Brazil is in South America. You see, we don't use definite article here. We don't use definite articles here, okay? Just the preposition, right? Um, preposition before names of countries, before names of uh, regions. Okay, so you can use in. When you check, uh, when you look into the map, right? You are looking for some place in the map. You see that the is not included in the name, right? You say South America, Africa, the names of the continents themselves. Okay. Well, we will see some examples. We haven't finished this part yet some examples from our last video and this video right uh, let's see I will make a question and then you will figure out the answer <laughs> no I, I guess I will say the whole sentence here it's not necessary to make a question the Amazon is the longest river in South America. When I was a child, people used to say that um, ah, the, the Nile River is the, uh, how can I say, is the largest river, but in volume, right? In co uh, water, water volume, right? And the Amazon in extension, I guess. I don't remember. I, I was, uh, I was a good geography student, but it's been a longer time since I have had uh, less had contact with <laughs> with geography. But here, I'm. I want to emphasize the grammar aspect of it. Okay, the Amazon. When you refer to the names of rivers, right? You um, here, I'm specifying the name of the river, so you don't say Amazon, you say the Amazon is the longest river in South America. So, before regions, continents, South America, we have just seen that you don't use a definite article, right? Uh, <clears throat> yes, there, there is a ventilation fan here. <laughs> It's turned on because it's hot, so it keeps turning the pages. Uh, I'm thinking of what, which example I'm going to give you now. Um, uh, let me see. It's Stockholm is the capital of Sweden, right? I guess if I'm not mistaken, yes, it's the capital of Sweden. I, I, I'm I not good at memorizing names of uh, capitals of countries. I remember I had a board game which uh, had capitals, uh, a fo some photos from the cities, and their respective capitals. It, it was a very fun game because it, it was easier to memorize. So you see, name of the city you don't use, okay? Is the capital. Here, uh, I use the, the, but is it necessary? I guess, I guess it's necessary. I'm not talking about any capital. I'm talking about the capital of Sweden. But you know, 
is capital of Sweden. Uh, Brasilia is capital of Brazil. Yeah, but I believe it's it's necessary when you say Brasilia is cap is the capital of Brazil. It makes sense, right? Um, let's talk about mountain ranges, right? One example of mountain range. Let me see here. Let me see which one I'm going to, which example. Mountain range. I'm going to check here. Uh, da, da, da. What's the name of the mountain range? In, in North America, we have a mountain range there, right? What's the name of the mountain range? we have in North America. Yeah, I missed the geography classes, so I don't know <laughs> what's the name of uh, the mountain range in the west of North America. Let me ch check. Ah, the Rockies. The Rockies is the name of the mountain range in North America, right? The Rockies is a mountain range in North America. The Rockies, right? Before names of uh, mountain ranges, you use the definite article. And before North America, we have already seen that you don't use. So, when we use, when we don't use, um, before names of countries, you don't use, right? In general, you don't use Canada. She lives in Canada. She's going to travel to Canada. Um, but when we talk about United States, oh, she lives in the United States. Here I have to use, okay? Before names of continents, uh, she wants to know Europe. She has never traveled to Europe before, so it will be her first trip to Europe. You know, I, I'm not willing to travel to Europe. I would rather go to Australia. Yes, Australia seems to be much better. You know, before countries and continents, you don't use the definite article, but we have some exceptions, right? We have already seen last video when we say the United Kingdom, for example, when you have United and Republic in the name of the country, right? Uh, what is the other name of which has a republic? I'm going to check here. Ah. The Czech Republic. Yes, we have seen this example. When you have words such as republic and united, you use the definite article. Yeah, it's not so complicated, isn't, isn't it? It's not complicated. The problem is the geography part of it. Yeah, I don't have a good memory about the to talk about geography of places. Okay, uh, we have seen some examples and we will finish with other examples involving um, nouns, some specific nouns. When we talk about people, for example, do you know Dr. Bob? I love names Bob and Tom, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't have much creativity in inventing names. Josh, Joshua. Yes, Dr. Joshua. <laughs> Do you know Dr. Bob? So, 
no definite article. But when you want to say that you need to see the doctor, right? I have, uh, I have to see the doctor. <laughs> It means that here, you know which doctor you are going to see, right? You, um, who is the doctor you are going to make an appointment with? I have to see the doctor. Here, I specified the name. So here you use, <clears throat> you go to see a doctor. You can also use an indefinite article, right? She is going to be a doctor. when she grows up, right? What are you going to, to, to do? What are you going to be when you grow up? When she grows up, for example, she wants to be a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor, but some people like. <laughs> some people have uh, the talent to be a doctor and some people just... Um, begin studying medicine because of the money. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, when you want to talk about, for example, uh, Trump is the president of the USA. You can also say, in uh, my understanding, you can say, ah, Trump is president of the United States. Okay. All right. Do you know the president? I don't know the president. Yes. Thank God I don't, I don't know the president. I refuse to say the name of the president of Brazil here. <laughs> Trump, uh, yeah, tr Trump is uh, despicable, right? It's horrible. But anyway, Trump is the president of the United States. At least until the end of the year, there is an election coming. So I highly doubt that he will win the, win the election. Biden will be the next president, hopefully. <laughs> so is the president or president? But you, when you want to refer to the president, you say, oh, do you know the president? Okay. Um, I... Let me see. I stayed... Uh, at... The Wilsons house right I traveled to a city and I stayed at the Wilson's house right the Wilson's I have also explained that for example the Simpsons <laughs> it's the name of the family so the house belongs to the family the Wilsons when you want to talk to a family chain in general not a specific member you say, ah, oh, do you know the Wilsons? Yes, I know. I know some of them. I know their children. I know their husband. Anyway, you can say that to express that you know somebody from the family. Okay? Well, we haven't finished. Not yet. This topic is really wide. Yes, we, we have many things to say. But I guess it's not much longer before we uh, finish talking about this topic. Next video, we will continue talking about the definite article, but it will be faster, I believe. In this lesson, I had some problems because I, my memory about uh, regarding geography is not very good. So sometimes I, left, I have to look into the internet. <laughs> The chat. Yes, I know. Shame on me, right? So I hope you had a great time with me and see you next video. We will record more about 
intermediate and advanced English, okay? Bye-bye!